Hello, my name is Sejay Grimm, and this is my presentation on technology's impact on Gen Z in America. Now, the question that we'll be answering today is, how has technology use in America increased with Gen Z, and how has it impacted society? Gen Z's technology use has increased and has had many negative impacts on society. Now, the purpose of this presentation is to highlight the negative effects of technology use by today's youth and how it can lead to issues in the near future. Technologically, one reason why Gen Z has, technology has increased is that it's become more reliant on it. Teenagers have become more reliant on it. Statistics show that nearly 100% of millennials use the internet and 90% are smartphone users. Now, this emphasizes the extent to which Gen Z is using technology. Appliances such as smart homes, robotic vacuum cleaners, robotic refrigerators, have been designed to require less human interaction as millennials are entering adulthood. This shows technology that is being thoroughly designed to support the laziness in a time where Gen Z is starting to reach adulthood. This graph shows the difference between the percentage of Gen Z people that own a smartphone, a tablet, or use social media compared to the older generations. Now, as you can see, there's a large contrast. The only generation close to Gen Z is Gen X. Those are the people born in 1965 to 1980, the parents usually. And then you have the boomers who are the 1940s, 1960s, the grandparents in the 1945 and earlier. And as you can see, it's a little closer when you get to tablets. Now, economically, Gen Z reliance on technology has negatively impacted the workplace because more companies are adding technology to their workspaces to, add, to adapt to Gen Z's lifestyle. Though this made the newer generation feel comfortable, it ruined the productivity and increased the anxiety of older generations. This just emphasized the disconnect that has created in the workplace because of technology use by Gen Z. Economically also, businesses will spend more money trying to increase social media and technological project presence in the workplace for Gen Z. This shows how Gen Z will cause an economic decline for businesses. Socially, Technology usage has increased cyberbullying. 43% of youth have reported being bullied online and social media. This is both the large percent of tech, I mean, teenagers that are being bullied and connected to an increase in social media. More than a third of teenagers have reported to being cyberbullied com compared to 19% in 2007. Now you gotta remember, social media was not as present in 2007 as it is today. As you can see, this connects, these two increases are no coincidence. This just shows the percentage of U.S. students who are cyberbullied as of school year by household income. Now, as you can see, each school year it is increasing and there's a higher percentage. Now, some may say that the workplace's technological impacts will cause the work process to be much easier and more fluid. This just shows that Gen Z bringing technology to the workplace is a good replacement for older generations, painting it as a positive impact. But this argument is not valid and can be opposed by the claim that technology decreases the focus and attention span of the users, altering their mental physiology, sleep cycles, and thought processes. If their attention span is decreased due to technology use, businesses are generally bringing distractions into the workplace instead of increasing pace and focus. This just shows how the digital distractions impact a certain percentage of people. Um, digital distractions such as ringing cell phones and audience, then you have the internet and social media, different things. As you can see, 37% somewhat agree that the distractions affect them. Now, increased technology use by Gen Z has had multiple effects on different aspects of the United States. Economically, it has confused older generations in the workplace, making job completion increasingly difficult. Technologically, Gen Z has used technology more frequently than the past generations, while socially, Gen Z has led to an increase in cyberbullying and mental health issues. This could be a clear indicator that technology usage in America should be decreased by either increasing the prices or decreasing the availability of these devices to the average person. Are there any questions? Yeah, I do have uh, two questions for you. Yes, sir. Uh, first question, uh, how reliable and valid were the sources that you used and then how do you know that they were? Well, I use multiple .org and .gov sources provided by the government and um, non-funded, government-funded organizations. I also use the sources that you provided and tested the reliability of those. 
by looking at the credibility of the authors. Okay. Uh, and <clears throat> were there any additional questions that came up as you were going through the research process? Well, I did have multiple questions, but I was helped. Um, I was helped through it along going along this class. I had questions about just how how do you emphasize a lens? And then I looked at the examples and I just emphasized those. I looked at how we're supposed to structure the presentations and I looked at those. I looked at how we're how we're supposed to test the credibility and I looked at the the hints and the clues that prove credibility of a source. All right. 